Can you use Spline Azure? If you treat Azure as a third party provider, you could be a provider through Spla without your own data center. So if you just imagine that Azure is just another data center provider, the short answer is yes, you may use some of the licenses in Azure. And how do you know which Spla licenses are allowed to be used in Azure? Under the product entry, look for GCP eligible. This right permits customer to use data center providers in the delivery of software services to end users as described in this plot. Let me translate this to more digestible human language. In the terms of SPLA, customer is provider. It permits the provider to use another provider, including Azure, in the delivery of software services to end customers. It's defined by this right. And not every piece of software, not every piece of Microsoft software is GCP eligible. Windows Server isn't. Well, don't trust my words. Let's scroll back to the index, find Windows Server, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here, cells only. If you know Spla just a little bit, there are no CALs, but there are cells, subscriber access licenses, these three licenses. So these licenses may be used in Azure. The server, you would have to pay through Azure. Can you use Spline in Azure? Yes, you can. But look for this entry and the server provider use rights 